Twitching jigs for coho and fall salmon is one of my favorite techniques to do and extremely popular for many. But have you ever had the issue of trying to decide which type of jig to use in the different run you're fishing? And I'm not specifically just talking colors because that's its own video. But I'm talking the jig head style that you are tying on to your line. This could be the typical standard round jig head or it could be one of these bullet heads. And the reason for bringing this up is because each specifically fish is different and excels in different conditions and water. So it's important to know and have these on you for the changing conditions. As a bank angler, your river that you're fishing for these coming to spawn fish, right? These coho are traveling up the main river systems to the tributaries and ultimately to the hatcheries. Whether you're fishing a hatchery zone area or you're in the main river or tributary system, twitching jigs present themselves at a bank angler to be very productive. And rightfully so, coho are very aggressive and love to chase these. But the bank angling aspect, I really feel plays a huge factor into more the choice of the jig head style. Because as a boat guy or gal, you can choose to be really using the boat to leverage the weight that you're throwing in the jig head style. Whereas a bank angler, you're at the mercy of standing where you are and using what you have in front of you to read the water and how to fish it. So... I wanted to break down the two basic styles. There are a couple others, but these are the main ones you're going to see no matter where you go, right? And that is a round head, like I mentioned, and a bullet head. Now, the round head specifically excels in the standard depth runs, maybe a little bit deeper because you can get a little bit heavier heads. And that round head creates a drop and fall if you want to call it like a yo-yoing jigging motion that is where the fish really get attracted to is the drop on the fall whereas a dart style still achieves a similar aspect as the round head but a dart style because of the design of the head allows for that to stay in the middle of the water column better in shallower water so if i had to go up to a hole and approach it if the head of the hole is the deeper spot and it starts to taper and then shallows up for the tail out, I'm going to fish the top of the run with a round head and then I'm going to switch jigs to a dart style and fish the tail out. You can, yes, fish the same style throughout the whole run, no doubt, but it can be the difference maker in fishing more effectively with the right style head in the body of water you're trying to go and target. So when it comes down to it, round style jigs, commercially available in a lot of different colors, jig head sizes from an ounce, three quarter ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce. Um, you have the dart style as well, a lot of different commercial ones out there. Same kind of pattern with the weights. You just need to pick and choose the river and run your fishing I would say most common for me, I'm picking up a half ounce or a three eighths. The half ounce is gonna be my tried and true. I show up to the water with that tied on. I let the conditions tell me different. If I got a little bit shallower of a run, but still deeper, I might run that three eighths ounce. Whereas the dart style, I'm choosing to mostly pick it and stick with the half ounce size unless I'm really shallow. Otherwise, Having those two options, I feel like I can not only cover a ton of water when I'm there, but I can effectively cover and target areas that others may not be fishing. I keep mentioning a tailout. A tailout is where that pool or run shallows up and tapers into a slot section. And typically this is leading into riffles down to the next hole. A tailout's the first place these fish are going to come out of the riffles and potentially stop. So you can get fish that haven't been pressured, haven't been touched, and you can then effectively present them a twitching jig with the rise and fall, and you can then have a lot of success picking up fish where others aren't.
Again, it's all preference based. This is just my opinion on it, but I really think it needs to be talked about how important the versatility in your jig selection choice on style can really pay into your success on the water. Once you have your head design style picked out for your twitching jigs, another thing you gotta take in consideration is, do you want to add scent? Well, check out this video right here. We're gonna dive in exactly how I like to scent my twitching jigs and help bring in more bites than a plain one by itself. Take care, we'll see you on the next one, everybody. And fish on!